All right, when it comes to the holidays, you usually have a bunch of family that comes into their town and it makes like making meals and stuff super complicated. So my friend, registered dietitian, yes. Amy Goodson is here to give us some brunch ideas that will hopefully make your holidays a little less stressful. You know, when we talk about building a better brunch game, you can do that with high quality ingredients. And for me, when you got family in town, friends are hitting up at your house all weekend <laughs> long. The key yeah. are recipes that are simple and delicious. So when the uh, house is busy, well, I, I don't know about yours, but my family loves and eggs. Okay. And eggs is, are really a great uh, way to build a better brunch menu uh, that everyone's gonna love, from pizza to tacos. So, we got the well, whole now. gamut today. So All today right. I brought the Happy Egg Organic Free Range Eggs. So seriously, Rance, look at the color of these yolks. That is amazing. Absolutely beautiful. So I like to say that the Happy Egg Hens are the freest of the free range okay. because they get to roam on over eight acres of pasture, which is great considering that most of the eggs that you find at the grocery store come from hens that never go outside. So really you can think about the Happy Egg Organic Free Range Eggs as being farmer's market quality <laughs> eggs, but Walmart and Publix you can buy them at. Love it. You know those chickens need a little that vitamin D like everybody does and being here in Florida, we have plenty of vitamin yes, D. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> Christmas on the river, right? right? That's the way we're rolling. So, you know, when we talk about breakfast, one of the keys we want to get in is protein. Yeah. So, eggs are a complete source of protein and they're really going to be a great way to fuel the day. Okay. So, so many ways you can eat it, as I mentioned. So over here, who does not love a breakfast pizza? Kids will eat it, adults will eat it. So this is kind of a breakfast pizza with a twist. So yes. it has a cauliflower crust, and then we put some butternut squash, arugula, topped it with these beautiful sunny side eggs, which I love. And if you have people in town over the weekend, trying to figure out what they're gonna feed, lots of different taste buds, taco bar. Breakfast taco bar is where it's at. So I'm gonna let you crack me up some eggs All over right. there. So we've got to check out these yolks. So, yep, there you go. Crack them. Woo! Woo! Messy. Yes, beautiful. That one is not good. Beautiful. <laughs> get in that egg. Yeah, so you can get, there you go. There we go. There you go. Scramble them up. And so as you're cooking these eggs, you can see the beautiful color, which really speaks to the farmer's market quality of the happy eggs. Mm -hmm. So you're scrambling these up. And then, of course, through the power of TV on the river, you can have eggs already made up. So I like to use a variety of vegetables. So I'm starting mine with spinach. But you can dish these eggs right out of the actual pan. So again, when you have lots of people in town, you can have all of these different topping flavors. So I'm kind of a savory girl. So I'm going to add roasted sweet potato. Wait, I just want to touch this really quick. This is a lot of vegetables on this table. Yeah. I mean, I'm you carnivore me. to the core, but I guess you're going to make me eat a little healthy as well. Yes. So oh. when we talk about vegetables, I'm a registered dietitian, so I'm always trying to figure out tasty ways to help squeeze them into various dishes. So we've done them with pizza. Okay. We've done it with tacos. But you can also do it with a pre-made egg cup. So we made these in advance. Yes. So they have chicken sausage, they have tomatoes, they have spinach, cheddar cheese. You can bake them up, store them in the fridge. So if you have early birds in town, very easy way to pop these out with a beautiful fruit platter. You can sleep in. Your early birds are fed, everyone's happy. And then my final way is a little something different over here. Yeah, now this is a very interesting setup over here and I think I've seen it in restaurants before, but definitely not like this. So this is my sweet and savory happy egg harvest skillet. So it screams fall, it screams winter. So it's got butternut squash roasted, sauteed apples and onions, a little bit of arugula, and we've put some eggs on top. So we have the sweet little bit of carbohydrate with the apples and the butternut squash, a little bit of savory with the onions. Again, putting those eggs up. When we talk about the holidays, everyone thinks it has to be heavy laden, lots of calories. But the truth is, better for you ingredients, you can get protein, you can get vegetables, and have a happy egg kind of a holiday that all of your friends and family are truly going to enjoy for brunch. All right, I will try so this it. new all gift right, sounds of good. eating healthy. So thanks so much for these tips, Amy. People want to know inf more information. Do we have somewhere we can go? Yes, you can go to amygoodsonrd.com. All right, eating healthy for the holidays.